93, I know. I'm kind of reapplying for my status as a Euro Queen. <laughs> In your eyes seem so right. I see forever in your smile. This woman is a child again. Wow. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are you taking a risk uh, doing this again? Because you already won, so. No, I don't think so. I, well, I don't feel the risk. If, I, if it was risk and I was afraid of it, I wouldn't be here, that's for sure. No, I'm going to go and sing my song and hopefully sing it well. And if I sing it well, there's no risk. There is no risk because I don't, nobody can take away the fact that I've won it. You know, I'm always going to be a Eurovision winner. I won't be a Eurovision failure just because I don't win it twice. Because very few people have managed to do that. As a matter of fact, only one other. So, you know, um, but you know, I won't lie and say I don't want to win it because I do. <laughs> <laughs> What happened with you after winning the Eurovision Song Contest? Um, well, I recorded some albums and traveled quite a bit, like a lot, and really enjoyed the whole experience. And then um, about 2000, 2001, I started to have children, as you do. Well, you don't, but I do. And, um, you know, I have my two lovely boys and I wanted to be home with them. And so that's what I did. I stayed home with them. I still worked. I mean, I still always work. Uh, 24 years I'm singing if I don't sing every day I think there's something wrong with me you know and not obviously I'm not concert every day unless you count my bedroom you know but uh, no I don't I sing all the time so um, yeah no I that's what I've been doing and I've been home quite a bit but I've been also recording I did an album with Secret Garden and um, yeah it's been quite an exciting you know a few years it's been quieter but you know then i've been home with the kids so it's quite nice they're called periwinkles in dublin okay periwinkles in dublin so, i don't know what they're called here but they're called periwinkles in dublin caracola caracola were you asked to 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 enter a song for eurovision song contest or is it just because you you wanted to do that? No, I didn't actually particularly want to do it. I don't don't know that no offense. I mean, I'm very glad to be here. I'll be honest with you. I'm really having a ball. Um, I didn't consider that. I couldn't see my place in it. To be honest, you know, I watch it every year, and I go, well, you know, you look at the beautiful young things and they're Amazonian and all. But no, it, my thing is, it's not. It's not that I have a problem with anything. I, you know, I'm I have my right to be here as much as anybody else. Uh, but what I'm saying is, you know, I just didn't see where whether it would fit with what I would be doing. So it was a big thing. So my big thing of all was to actually go and do um, the song, to, that the song would be right. I would say, yes, I would do it because I love the song. And so now I love the song. And so there I am again. <laughs> think Eurovision changed? Oh yeah, but it had to. I mean, in the, in the 90s when we did it, everybody looks back and sit with the rose-coloured glasses in Ireland now and says that was the wonderful time of Eurovision. But even then we were talking about the fact that Eurovision had to change, you know. Always Eurovision must change with the times or it will die. And we don't want that to happen, you know. It has grown, which is quite right, and you know, and there's more people involved and okay it means that maybe we don't win as often but in fairness we it'll be it take somebody a long time to get up to seven wins but you know the truth is we're going we're enjoying you know and i would like to see your vision continue to move down the road One change I would like, wish that wasn't there was the orchestra though. I miss the orchestra. But you know, modern songs are different and you know, it has brought different kind of songs and different performances in. I have no regret in that regard, but I do love the orchestra, you know, and that's just because I love to sing live, you know, as well. So.
honestly, do you what song do you like the most? Your your winning song or the one you're singing now? No, I, I um, that's a hard one actually because uh, In Your Eyes is very nostalgic for me too. I still love to sing it. I really do. Um, I get great joy out of it because not only when I sing it do I sing, I get the joy of singing it, but I get the joy of remembering every moment while I sing it. And actually, the thing that really excites me most is the way people respond when I sing it because they all sing it too. And there's a whole generation there that actually still sing it, even though they really have no right of knowing it, you know, because it is 17 years. A whole gang of people who've been born and raised in that time. Almost Thea from Malta, Malta, she's only 18, so she was only a year old when I did it, but she still knows it, which is kind of nice, you know. It's one of her pay favorites, she told me. Well, she, she's only saying that to be kind, I know. <laughs> but I thank her for it. <laughs> What was your most beautiful, of course winning I think was a beautiful moment uh, so many years ago, but was there a moment that you say, wow, that's something I will ever remember for always? Um, gosh, well a really strong memory is really going home on the bus actually, because that was such a big thing, we, the bus was such a part of Mill Street, it like, really was, uh, because we all had to go back and forth to Killarney on the buses, right? <laughs> very glamorous you think it's a glamorous life but actually it was great fun and you know you could be on the bus with any other mounted delegates or fans or just random people I think really but after the Eurovision and the semi-final the night before not the semi-final but you know the dress rehearsal they all um, were on the bus and of course we sang the song all the way home to which is quite a lot actually because it's a long way <laughs> but they sang it so well and so fun and I remember actually just after I won and we'd done all the stuff and I didn't get to go to the party, I just went home back to the Hotel Europe and all these fans were sitting on the bus looking a bit, you know, they were excited, they were whatever, but they didn't quite expect me to get on the bus, so it was quite a shock. One piece of advice you need, right, one big piece of advice, enjoy. Do not miss a minute. Don't be fretting about anything. This is a contest and an experience that you usually get once in your lifetime, possibly two. But you know, the thing is, no matter where, what happens, you know you have to take every second from it because it is quite unique and fantastic. And so, just enjoy. Okay, thank you. We are looking forward to seeing you in Oslo. Thank you, Jan. Yeah. <laughs>